Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and yeah today we're gonna be continuing our our cheese uh, journey in a way we're gonna be playing some decks that don't involve like a <clears throat> uh, sorry for my voice I'm still kinda sick so we're gonna be playing some cheese today and cheese decks kinda revolve around abusing some gimmick of the game that kinda shouldn't be happening on average but it is in the game so we might as well just use it so right now we are gonna be abusing mirror which is very niche card but surprisingly very good so very surprised that not many people use this and <clears throat> my opponent already calls the good game which is a weird move to say the least unfortunately this ice tiny will jump i didn't expect my opponent to get this one, I'm gonna play Footman Hut, always very safe move to play. <coughs> I'm gonna play Bomb Skeleton right now and the plan against this matchup is very simple. So my opponent plays Machine Gun and there it is and we're gonna be just playing as many helicopters as it's physically possible and we're gonna be forcing him to play a flying bomb every time he wants to like get rid of one of the copters. So we're gonna now play apes on the opposite side, force a flying bomb, and right now he pretty much has nothing for this rolling push except like rolling steel. And <clears throat> yeah, he pretty did a very nice job, but still the helicopter just got infinite value and it shows up on the damage dealt. So. It's gonna be a very good matchup for us because we basically can always play at least two cards at the same time that need a proper response which is a flying bomb of course. <coughs> and as we all know, your pump cannot play, play two consecutive flying bombs uh, in a row unless uh, they have uh, a mirror themselves, so I'm gonna just try to... Yeah. I was about to block the machine gun and it turned out very fine and he used a flying bomb against my copter finally and then I just played apes so that's how we pretty much play this deck and unfortunately for my opponent there's nothing he can do about it because well <clears throat> also him just going aggressive and pushing with uh, machine guns is not viable because I have a bomb skeleton so that was a very nice game number one and very cool to see that Machine Gun 3.0 absolutely defeated and we're gonna get another game so like I've said the main premise of this deck will be <coughs> will be to actually just cycle my <coughs> cards that are very well countered by a flying bomb here he goes again holy hell my voice is dying today <coughs> and uh, bank uh, on the fact that my opponent cannot play two fly consecutive flying bombs so I'm gonna actually play a phone hold here so my bomb skeleton lives longer you gotta take value everywhere you can <coughs> and this situation is certainly one of them I'm gonna play apes actually going for some aggressive play see what my opponent gonna play Okay, rolling steel and bullets. And unfortunately my opponent will suffer a lot of damage because of that. He was low on mana, he didn't have a right cards to respond and I'm gonna absolutely capitalize on that. Going Viking and Dark Knight first play in the game is usually not the play unless you wanna like <coughs> bank on the fact that your opponent doesn't have good responses against one of them so this may be an issue then <clears throat> i'm actually go not go with some copter action i'd love to protect this helicopter though and that's why i'm gonna play a bomb skeleton and that's gonna be a very successful sequence my copter is still alive he still has to get rid of it because if he doesn't it's gonna absolutely kill this viking and as you probably can tell from <clears throat> 
It's about to say my voice. Probably from my tone. This helicopter was huge and it would be better if I actually sacrificed one ape to tank for it, but yeah, I didn't and that's why I will will have to back off. <laughs> actually right now my opponent will get very aggressive and we'll have to manage our defense to at least comfortable situation and right now we are just having a very strong attack this viking is dead this dark knight also dead his tower dead i'm gonna actually lose this for because my bomb skeleton died sooner than i anticipated and right now we are gonna just get a very convincing win like you said oh my god my, my voice still dies and <clears throat> Yeah, what I just did didn't help out at all. Okay, whatever, let's jump to the game number three. Alright, so we are in another game against Yigidu, and he's known by me by playing like one of the most solid decks in the entire game, which is obviously Splamatory, and we're gonna see how the game against him goes. He obviously well plays Splamatory because there's no other deck with archers that I'm currently aware of and yeah there we go we're gonna be up against Plemetary there's nothing new <clears throat> the only unfortunate thing is that we won't be having any quick wins because it's not the case against this player like ever we're gonna be playing Copter here baiting some poison because obviously the poison is the best response to the Copter but we're gonna see how it first this Copter will actually get a lot of value for us <clears throat> So I might as well just go for the for the apes. Now counter the archers and these apes will get absolutely a lot of damage. The only problem is right now I'll have to deal with the T-Rex and I kinda have to kinda have to just mirror the phone hort and take the L on the phones. <coughs> Not the biggie though. We're just trading and I believe he kinda by now we should know my deck fully and yeah from this point forward we kind of have to just play video game because obviously i knew his deck beforehand and right now he knows my exact variation so let's just see how these decks fare against each other obviously i have to bait out his poison as soon as often as possible okay the, he played poison and I didn't even ask him for it, so this is gonna obviously be very good for me. I'm gonna play Ghost here. I'm gonna play Copter actually. I'm gonna play another Copter. I'm gonna try to kill this T-Rex as soon as possible, and there we go. I'm gonna actually protect this Copter if possible. It's not possible. This steel hammer will get some damage, but on the other side we are getting damage on our own, so it's fine, I guess. I'm gonna play Ghost here because he could have just went Splamatory behind that. He didn't, so it's fine for us. We're gonna be playing Ghost here, and I'm gonna be playing Helicopter here. He's gonna be very likely to play Poison on this cemetery, and there we go. That's gonna be very scary cemetery to defend. I feel like I'm gonna, <coughs> in a way, let it go. I'm gonna play Ghost now. And that, that fares fairly well. I'm gonna play some Apes. He will have to respond with Steel Hammer and that's fine. So we're gonna just play Bomb Skeleton on that. And right now we're gonna just play this very advanced maneuver, which is a helicopter. And then we're gonna just mirror it. Okay, so he's gonna be playing poison here and <clears throat> okay I didn't miss bullets that was very instructive <clears throat> okay he's gonna be playing actually a footman hack which is very nice play and he's keeping the steel hammer just against my uh, 
uh, just against my apes, so that was, that's a very good uh, recognition out of him. I don't think that was a good play, since I can just play apes. I can play mirror apes, and one of them will slick, second of them will slick, and we're gonna win on damage, so... There you go, that was a very tight game, but we've managed to persevere, and that was a very nice way to end this match, because Splamatory can be very scary, and I kinda threw at the end, so... Yeah. Fortunately, I still managed to win the game. Looks like we're gonna be having a rematch here, because Yigidu is still pretty very confident that he can win this one, so... Let's see what he has in store for us. We're gonna be starting with a ghost, and I presume he's gonna play a steel hammer in front of that anyway, so might as well just play some bullets. And this time he's gonna actually play a footman keg, that's absolutely acceptable. I don't think I am the player that wants to get into a. Uh, double mana, so I'm gonna just try to apply as much pressure as it's humanly possible. At the same time, I'm gonna play another copter, and if he poisons, I'm gonna just go in. And here we go. He even misses the poison on the tower, so it may, it's gonna be even better for me. I don't think that... Okay, he's gonna be playing Cyclone, and unfortunately, my apes don't activate his viking tower, so that was a very fortunate... Uh, Interaction for me. I was thinking about bulleting these skeletons, but if I did, they may have not get gotten enough damage on my ape, and it may be may have been a Viking Tower activation. So that was very cool to see. <coughs> but we still have to the game to win. We still aren't done yet. I'm gonna play Bomb Skeleton because it's like, except helicopter, it's gonna be the card that gives us the most value in this matchup. I'm gonna obviously play for double copter because he doesn't have a good response against that. And with that being said, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna just go attack him. <coughs> this skeleton the hands that. Unfortunately my copter will be dead as well, so that's gonna that's gonna be a very good defense for him, and I cannot push with apes because he has a steel hammer, so very unfortunate, but at the same time, I don't complain. I'm gonna go for the ghost here. It's gonna be very fortunate for me. I'm gonna go for a bomb skeleton. And after that, I'm gonna just go for the copter because... Because why not, honestly. I'm gonna go copter here. Bait out the poison. There we go. I'm gonna go for the helicopter. Hit humans to actually... Cyclone this and that's a very questionable play in my books uh, because yeah this helicopter will still survive however he's gonna get a very good hold here so we cannot cross him out just yet I'm gonna play here we're gonna play here we're gonna hope for some good trades and that I'm not gonna die to this planetary and looks like I'm gonna get right now a lot of damage because this T-Rex just got a very lot of value. So that was an unfortunate trade for me. I'm gonna right now just go for the ghost on the opposite side. And he used a phone kick, which I think is weird. So I'm gonna just try to sell out. I think it's a good play. I'm gonna just go for it, and these apes should deal a lot of damage, so we're at 1600, which is still not enough, so I'm gonna just play a hel helicopter, I'm gonna play ghost, I'm gonna absolutely delete everything that's here, and right now I'm gonna just go for apes on this side, so my next apes can be on the right side, and they're not level up, but they're still big, and I'm gonna just play bullets, so... That was a very nice outplay out of me, and we win this game. Very technical matchup, but like you've seen, it's very possible. GG, well played. Let's jump to the game number 5 of today's video. This is gonna be a... I mean, not a long one, but longer than 15 minutes. And we're gonna get a third game against Yigidu, so he's very determined to actually beat me once at least. 
I'm gonna absolutely take the challenge and play apes at the bridge. He's gonna absolutely play the best response to them, which is steel hammer. And even though the da the tower of his takes some damage right now, he's very well set up to play a splamatory. I mean cemetery. So that's gonna be scary timing for me, as I'll have to be very careful with what I'm playing. I'm gonna play full horde anyway, even into poison because I kind of had to prevent some damage from coming in. And right now he has to play foot and keg, and that's why I'm gonna play a full horde on the opposite side and force out some response. So it wasn't the best, but at the same time I kind of can accept that. And we're gonna just play video game from now on. So <coughs> from the hindsight, I shouldn't have played a full horde on the opposite side because it just he helps his cycle and doesn't help mine. So. It was a minor mistake, if you may, and <clears throat> I'm gonna obviously play Copter here, he's gonna play Cyclone against it, and I'd love this to live, but it won't, so that sucks. I'm gonna actually ta keep all the damage of my tower if possible, so apes there are, and right now I'm gonna actually just go for a block so he doesn't get a free cemetery and right now i'm gonna just play fun heart get a nice easy counter except like all skeletons get a hit well that was still better than i expected so <coughs> i think we can call it a win i'm gonna right now go ghost because his only response will be a skeleton hut and there we go I'm gonna go for a helicopter. This helicopter will fight the dragon, so that's gonna be a very cool move. For me, obviously. And I'm gonna just go in. Because he doesn't have like good things against these apes. I can accept the steel hammer, but oh helicopter cross, I really counted on that it won't, but like Unfortunately, that I'm gonna go for a ghost and I'm gonna go for the second ghost because I don't want to give him a value of his spells and these ghosts are absolutely trolling right now. I'm gonna play a helicopter to kill this uh, dragon. I'd love to at least kill this. And we will get a kill, so that's nice. We're gonna play footman hat to... <coughs> block this entire attack and right now I think I'm gonna just play bomb scale in the back so he's pretty much one symmetry from knocking me down so I have to kinda keep up momentum I'm gonna play apes in the very back I'm gonna right now play a helicopter and play a cyclone on that I mean I am near on that and right now I, I will just okay he had a absolutely gorgeous cyclone here, so I don't think I'm ever breaking through. He's gonna just play poison on this now, probably. <clears throat> Still, he has to be a bit careful, but not that much because, well, there's pretty much nothing for me to do because right now my only play is pretty much to play apes and mirror apes and count, and count for some miracle to happen. And if this happens, that's gonna be actually nice. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time and he has a mana for that. So we're gonna end up uh, taking an L. I kinda expected to take two losses in three matches against him, but it looks like he didn't figure out the matchup up until now. Also, I kinda played worse this third game because I expected to get a new opponent, except like getting Splamatry three times in a row. Splamatry on hindsight can be like the best possible response against this deck so definitely he had a matchup and in the third game he played it really well so yeah there you have it guys how you play a cheesy deck with bomb skeleton and apes hope you guys enjoyed if you stayed till the end of the video consider subscribing to my youtube channel because i post the content of boom arena every single day so yeah let me some my uploads hit that subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of boom arena